hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to make your cold process laundry soap using calcium carbonate as your filler calcium carbonate adds weight to your soap and boosts the quantity of your soap for those who are into commercial processing of soap so we'll be making use of palm kernel oil this is 200 grams of palm kernel oil the list of the recipe you will find it in the middle of the video so please stay tuned and watch how I incorporate this powder into my oil. This is the calcium carbonate, otherwise known as chalk. It is very cheap and very easy to source and find. You can always get it from the chemical shop where you are buying your tin. This is our light solution, a mixture of our caustic soda with water. Make sure it's dissolved perfectly before you start processing your soap. Next, we are also going to be using another filler known as soda ash. People always add this soda ash to their soap because it adds extra cleaning power to the soap. And also, because you are dissolving it with water, it may also add to the quantity of your soap. This is a foam booster. I will be using it to increase and boost the foaming power of this soap. In fact, this is perfectly a way of making a commercial laundry soap for for your business and this is the fragrance i will be using for this procedure so stay tuned and continue watching so first what you need to do is to add in your oil into your mixing bowl and next is for you to add in your calcium cabinet calcium cabinet can be incorporated in two ways but in this video we'll be making use of the first known way which is incorporating it into your oil Calcium cabinet can dissolve perfectly in your oil, but you have to make sure you stir it perfectly. So after you add in your oil, you go in with your calcium cabinet before you even before you can add in your sodium silicate. Remember, calcium cabinet is used as a filler by soap producers to add weight to their soap tablet and also to increase their soap by volume. Make sure you mix it properly and dissolve all granules before you start producing. If you add excess of calcium carbonate to your soap, it will show at the end and make your water chalky after washing with the soap. People can easily know. Calcium carbonate should not exceed 30% of your weight by volume production. So you should actually measure it properly. If you exceed the quantity of your calcium carbonate just to have a very heavy soap it's it will actually tell after your production and make your soap too chalky so be sure to add in just nothing more than 30 percent is okay for you to produce calcium carbonate can be used in baking soap likewise it can also be used in, in laundry soap it is not a soaping agent so does not get dissolved even after using the tablet soap to wash or to bathe it doesn't dissolve in water so be mindful of the quantity you add so you can see immediately after that the next thing i added was my uh, light solution before this light solution i've already added in sodium silicate but seems that part of the video did not show after my light solution i went in with my soda ash and then stirred in to had, have a perfect trace. We offer trainings for laundry soap, bathing soap, medicated soap, liquid soap. In fact, most of the productions that you see in the supermarket. You can do as well to contact us with the number of your, on your screen via WhatsApp to get more information about them thank you if you have been making your commercial laundry soap without making any profit at all from it i think it's best time you call me or whatsapp me so that i can teach you how to make laundry soap and make a perfect profit in it next i added in was my foam booster and stirred in to have a very perfect homogeneous mixture at bam glam skill acquisition agency will also offer free trainings you can do as well to join in to our free group where we offer free trainings from time to time 
The link will be in the description box below. If you own a hand blender, this is the best time for you to use it. If you don't have a hand blender, please do use your hand mixer that you have in your house. You must not have a hand blender for you to produce soap. Use your hand mixer and mix perfectly so that everything can blend in perfectly. Next, I added in my fragrance of choice. You can use any one that you are convenient with. Just add in your fragrance and then stay in your solution so that you have a perfect homogeneous mixture. This is like a mini production for people who are into commercial production of uh, laundry soap. So you stir very well till your trace move from liquid trace to a little bit light medium trace or medium trace before you can now pour it into your mold. If you want to add coloring to, to your uh, mixture, to your batter, this is the perfect time for you to color your soap. If you want to divide it into batches before you add the color, you are free to do so. Remember this is just a training video so you can do anything you want adding any color you want remember that the cajun cabinet has already given you a white base color so you can just proceed into adding any color and it will come out perfectly so next thing i did was just to pour it into my mold and then let it sit for like six to eight hours before i unmolded it i added um a little bit of a pink coloring to to some of the soap butter 